Hey there, welcome back. Here's a quick look at your top headlines today. A court document show a key witness who was with George Floyd when he was arrested is refusing to testify against Derek Chauvin. The New York Post is reporting 42 year old Maurice Lester Hall was one of the passengers with Floyd in a car in Minneapolis last May when the 46 year old was arrested. Hall filed a motion in Hennepin County District Court late Wednesday asking to not be called in the murder trial, insisting he will not answer questions if he is called. In the filing, Hall's lawyers say he will invoke his Fifth Amendment privilege against self-incrimination, which is his constitutional right. And this is a pretty uh, standard procedure here. Uh, so moments after George Floyd was taken away in an ambulance last May, former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin was confronted by a witness who took issue with the way Chauvin was kneeling on George Floyd's neck. But I feel respect you uh, That's one person's opinion. But, but you know, I know, I got to get him. I got to get him. Yeah, we got we to control this. Got to control this guy because he's a sizable guy. Yeah, and I got to get him to get in the car. Looks like he's probably on something. But I'm just saying, you know, I understand, but no, I got to. The short clip from Chauvin's own body camera played in his criminal trial on Wednesday. The video represented the first time the public has heard the ex-officer's perspective in the 10 months since George Floyd died under his knee, which, as you know, launched a worldwide protest movement. Yeah, that voice was uh, Charles McMillan, whose uh, testimony was just profound um, just uh, yesterday. Some Minneapolis community leaders hope to reach more young people during a community-wide listening circle on Zoom. James Trice, founder of the Public Policy Project, has teamed up with the Environmental Justice Coordinating Council. The focus of the listening circle is to discuss the impact of the trial involving the murder of George Floyd. Trice said, this is a conversation for us about us and facilitated by us. Our emotions are heightened during the trial of murderer and former police officer Derek Chauvin. Trice chose to create a safe space for detoxification and emotional release. It's an effort to take care of people in the community who are experiencing emotional pain or just concerned about how they are processing the trial. He has scheduled the listening circle on Zoom for Monday, April 5th from 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Central Time. To join the listening circle, click this link that you see on your screen on Monday evening. The meeting ID is 311-875-5091 and the passcode is PPPEJCC. The Minneapolis Catholic Church will be leading a prayer service each morning blocks away from the courthouse for those who want to participate. NBC is reporting St. Olaf Catholic Church's father, Kevin Kinney, wants this space to serve as this place where anyone is welcome to voice their concerns and frustrations, but he also wants it to be a place to listen. He says it's hoping it will be a place of healing. If you're in Minneapolis, the prayer vigils are Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. right at the intersection of 2nd and 9th Street. There will also be a second one each day inside the chapel at 3 p.m.